Welcome back to wagertalk.com. I'm Marco D'Angelo, joined in studio with Ralph Michaels and Brian Leonard. We're going to break down NBA playoff action. We're going to Thursday night action this week, and we've got game six between Toronto and Milwaukee. Guys, you looked at this one. It's been a back-and-forth series. You had Milwaukee go in, grab game one in uh, Toronto. Toronto come back, got it. Went back to Milwaukee. Milwaukee thumped them in game three, and you look like, well, maybe this is going to be a short series, and now Toronto's won two in a row. What do you make of this young Milwaukee team now looking at being down three to two? I'll start with you, Brian. Yeah, Milwaukee team with their best, one of their two best players has been out all season, too, with Parker. Uh, I like this Milwaukee team. I've seen them play many times. They can play the short game, the, the half-court game. They can also get out and run. That's what I really like about them. I think their advantage here is the inside game when they play uh, Toronto. Toronto's more of an outside shooting team. Their guards are the leaders on that team. Great guards, by the way, all-star players. But I'd rather have the team that's going to be more consistent on the inside. And you find a lot of times the team shoot a lot of threes. You're going to either hit them or you don't hit them. And that usually tells you who's going to win the game. I prefer the Milwaukee side. And, and Toronto, you, you mentioned how they played in Milwaukee. Toronto has not played very well in the playoffs on the on the road the last few years. So I think uh, Milwaukee wins this game. I think they get the cover and we go back for game seven. Ralph? You know, the Raptor backer, backers can thank uh, Norman Powell. Powell mm -hmm. averaged only about 18 minutes a game. He started, you know, about 15 games this year. But he came on and started games four and five. And so far, he's he was the leading scorer in Game 5, and he was 7 of 7 from three-point land. That completely opened up the middles for Game 4 and 5 to give Toronto uh, those two wins, and he really was the spark plug. Tor Toronto out-rebounded Milwaukee 47 to 30 in the last game. That can't happen again. I mean, those are just crazy numbers. You know, on one side, if you read the Milwaukee paper, they're talking about how they had two horrendous Game 6s in their history the last two rounds. But... On the Toronto side, you know, under Casey, Toronto was 0-3 in Game 6 closeout games. So I look at it as this. Toronto has gone to Milwaukee twice. They've shot 33.8% and 41.2%. Giannis, okay. Just go Greek freak. Greek freak. No, <laughs> no. You know, Preston proved it last time. Ada de Kumbo. Uh, is only averaging 16.5 points per game at home and 27 on the road. So I expect him to have a better game. I expect Toronto to struggle. I don't think, you know, I don't think Powell's going to go shoot 7-7. Seven seven, so I certainly like Milwaukee in this yeah. game. Toronto, as you said, Brian, they haven't shot well, you know, and they do live from the outside. What's scary is four of the five games in this series, they've shot below 50% you know, a lot below 50% and still have been able to take that 3-2 lead. If they have any game where they actually do get hot from the outside, Milwaukee could be in trouble in this one. Two stats, one for each side, so it's going to uh, negate it. If you look at Milwaukee the last three years, when they're playing at home, coming off of back-to-back -back, uh, losses of 10 points or more, they're 8-0 against the spread. But on the flip side to that, Toronto this season, 9-1 and one against the spread on the road if they're coming off a win of 10 points or more. Where I'm going to go with this one is I'm going to go to the under in this one. And uh, I like the under. I think this is a situation where Toronto, you know, they, they've got the scoring down a little bit on Milwaukee. Milwaukee's not scoring in the last two games. And I think the pressure of this young team in the closeout game, they're going to be a little bit tight playing at home. And Toronto, 15 of their last 19 road games have gone under the total. I'm going to go under 195 and a half for my play. Ralph, if you had to make a play. It's Milwaukee. For it's sure. Milwaukee yep. for you? Yep. I like Milwaukee too, but usually the longer these series go out, the lower scoring they are. They know the moves of the players, so I can understand your side also. All right, there you go. Hey, guys, every Friday at Wager Talk, it's Flashback Friday. You can get a play from our capper, get his best bet for just $7. Normally, these plays go for $20 each and every Friday. It's Flashback Friday, just $7 at wagertalk.com. We're going to be back with more here at Wager Talk.